In today's video, I will solo survive for 24 hours on Escalation. We will raid, PvP, build, get traded, and so much more. Make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. You guys are reaching each like goal, so let's tune it up a bit more. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos, which will reach 50,000 by the end of the year. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now, and today we're going to show another one, which is a steampunk blue Zubeknikov donated by Apollo. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, we're currently in Escalation, completely alone, solo, I have nothing. I have played here a little bit and I just died like 5 times. Has server had like 50 people and I literally couldn't do anything, so I left. So we're back, we're gonna try to do some survival, completely alone. Server is normal loot, so 1 times loot. And today for my plans is I want to actually build myself a tower base. I think that's what I want to do actually, yeah, we get ourselves some smoke. I do have some ideas where I want to build this tower base, either looking over Red Grove Airfield, or perhaps even going to a unmarked tunnel, something like that. Let's just salvage ourselves carpets, we'll get ourselves some clothes. There's a carrot in here. I'm gonna try to get myself a gun, I'm gonna try to get myself some tools so that we can start building. Get ourselves a car battery, that, and I hear shots. So in my vault I do have a coffee filter and a canteen, now we got two chemicals. We're gonna salvage all of these. Get ourselves quite a lot of clothes. We got ourselves a bed as well, lovely. Now obviously today I do want to make myself some raids. I do want to survive here for 24 hours. And I also want to build a pretty decently sized base perhaps. And obviously dead zone runs. Probably will just do the tier ones though. Depends where we build the base though. But since I heard shots I think I'm gonna try to get myself a gun from here and... Uh, Hopefully one did spawn and try to go kill. Yeah, I don't think so. But it sounds like a pistol so maybe we can melee him. Yeah, somebody is raiding. I could try to throw some ingots at him, perhaps. That would be funny if we do kill him with an ingot. Yeah, we can only put one in vault, so let's just take the other two. And we're gonna yoink them at him. That would be funny if we kill him. Yeah, server doesn't have mech skills too, so we gotta be careful that we actually do max out the important ones first. Alright, so that's not just a- I think they're killing each- yeah, they just killed each other. That's good, I could try to get the gun or something. But I think there's even more, man. I think it's not just two people. Yeah, he, I hear him, he's in here breaking glass. Yeah, he made steps. Yeah, he's right over here. Bro, if I had a gun, I could kill him so easily, man. Oh, he saw me. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, well, that ingot, I didn't even hit him with that ingot, bro. Oh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to loot here then. No problem. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world, and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods. Just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off. And let's get straight back into the action. Bro, there's a dude here. Oh, I almost killed the man. My guy's hiding under a house. What? Is he? I think he's door camping or I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, honestly. Now right, we're over a walk in. I'll just try to get ourselves a gun. Bro, joining on escalation when it's not wiped and everybody has actually guns. It's actually harder than it is because everybody is just everywhere. So it's kind of hard. Yeah, there's a kit that gives you a shotgun. But with one bullet, doesn't even give you two bullets. Kind of wish I had it before, because I could have killed the guy over at walking, but it's whatever. There's nothing we can do about it now. Let's check out the gun store. Maybe we'll get ourselves some guns. Uh, there's a pistol, some ammo. There's some more shit. Actually, yeah, there we go. We got shells for this. Perfect. Let's check out down here. Looks like clothes. Some, some more ammo. Some more guns. Yeah, we got ourselves governments. It's good. We're going to salvage this one, and we're going to take the other one. There we go. All right, so I'm going to try to get myself a fire axe from the fire station over here, and then we'll just... Oh, there's somewhere ammo. Then we'll just try to build. Uh, probably I'll build a, a temporary base for now. Oh, there's uh, stuff on the floor. Canteen. Glue. Yo, let's go. I need to actually put this in there. Yeah, the glue is very important. Right, we got ourselves some pants. But I'm probably gonna build a temporary base, just a one by one somewhere around here. So that I could store loot and then when I get myself some enough stuff to build a tower base, I will just do that. It's always a good idea to have a second base anyway. Yeah, we got ourselves a fire axe so we can actually go start chopping down trees. Bro, the zombies are glitching, man. Bro, I'm gonna die to zombies, there's no way. Bro, I want this break. Oh my god, I'm dead. Bro, there's no- Oh, I, I spawned close. Bro, there's no way that just happened. Oh yeah, thankfully my loot is here. Bro, here's- Bro, there's somebody in here, what? Bro, there's a dude. Hit him. 
Hit him. Yeah, he's dead. What? Why didn't he go for my load? Hold on. Bro, he has a Bizey. Oh, backpack. Right, let's see what he had. Um, okay, dude, he had some stuff. He had a Bizey, a bunch of metal, some attachments. Amphibious clothing. Bro, that's insane. He has a lot of ammo for the Bicey too. That's beautiful. All right, well, I gotta, I gotta build. Get myself a cut. Oh, there's a lot more people, bro. Okay, that, what is that? I think that's an asset. I'm gonna... Yeah, there's a lot of PvP. I need to build the base really quickly, a one by one. Close to here so that I don't lose this loot. I cannot lose this loot. We got ourselves quite a ton of guns, especially since it's on normal mode. It's gonna be hard to get this all over again. Yeah, we'll build close to here, actually. We'll build close to here. And if we hear shots, we'll just come to counter whoever's that walking. It's a very... Oh, yeah, I saw him. I think he was naked, though. Yeah, there's more. There's a lot of small bases around, so... Let's start chopping down trees. We're gonna build a base close to here. And let's hope that they don't kill us when we're building. It's really what I'm scared of. Yeah, logs drop a normal amount, so it's not high forgeables. That's good. Bro, what the hell is going on over there, man? There's, like, a war going on over there. It's like a three-man versus a two-man. As soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna try to counter, obviously, and try to get some easy loot. Alright, so I'm gonna leave everything on the floor. I'm gonna chop down myself some trees for some storage. Oh, there's people up there. Another shot. Hit him. Bro, there's... It's two guys, man. Bro, die. I think they're naked, though. Yeah, he's dead. Bro, that took a full mag almost to kill him. Where's the other dude? There we go. Okay, yeah. Both dead. I think they're naked, though. Yeah, he had... He had... What? Chili, bro. He had chili, man. Alright, let's just continue chop down trees so you can make storage. Bases one by one. Some of it is reinforced. Some of it is just normal wood. But we'll upgrade it later. We'll make it larger, too. But this is just temporary. I still want to build a tower base later on. But first, I'll see what the chaos at walking is because there's still some shots right now they stopped a little bit but i'm still gonna check it out and we got ourselves a large crate perfect and let's place this right over there let's put all of these guns canteens attachments and whatever i have yeah there's some shots going on now i'm gonna drop these two so we have an empty vault and here we go let's see what's up over at walking man there's a dude back there i think he's i don't think he saw me actually he's just running away bro i could try to get the yeah, I could try to jump him. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he's back here behind the tree. There we go, he's dead. And he's geared. What? Bro, wait, he has a drum. Wait, what? He has a vanilla drum. Bro, he has high-tech fuses. Dude, we just got endgame loot already. We got an Elise pack, so let's home. Circuit board. We got an Elise pack as well. Bro, what? How does he have that? Adhesive compounds. We got ourselves a... Uh, an asset as well. Bro, that was that was a very good kill. Let's put these attachments on it. I'm not gonna run around with the Elise. How the hell does he have a, a drum? The server doesn't have shop or kits or whatever. Is that admin abuse? Bro, there's no way there's admin abuse, right? Alright, well, first kill. Pretty good. Let's go back and see if we get any more kills like that. That would be great if we do. Yeah, there's still more shots. Pistol, that one was. Let's go back. Hope that there are still people there. There are people talking. There's a lot of shots anyway, so... Yeah, there's gonna be people around. I gotta be careful. Oh, yeah, he's back. I see him. He's all the way back there. I think there's more, though. I don't think it's just him. Yeah, he's getting closer. If he comes exactly right next to me, that would be perfect. Yeah, I could try to kill him, actually. Hit him. He's dead. Let's see what he has. Okay, he's geared, bro. Another asset. Yeah, fully decked. Oh, there's another one. Bro, die. No. Bro, how did he not die, man? Bro, I hit him so many times. I wish I vaulted, actually. I wish I vaulted at least the gun or the chainsaw, man. That would have been so good if we got a chainsaw. All right, let's home. Let's go back. Let's try to maybe get another kill. We lost the Bizey. Bro, server has no bullet drop. I'm dead. Server has no bullet drop. That's mental. Okay, that's fine. Lost myself another asset. Yeah, so this group that just killed me is in a trio. And they have, like, an insane amount of negative rep. So they're the team that dominates the server by the looks of it. And I think they live close, too. I think I killed one of them. The dude that had the drum. A moderator is in their team. So I actually do think that there is actually admin abuse. So I gotta try to stay clear of them. Because if I piss them off, they'll probably just raid me. Or even spawn items in trade me. If they spawned in a drum, God knows what else they spawn. 
Alright, so we're over at Locks. So I'm just gonna loot here really quickly. Kill as much zombies. Hopefully get myself some loot. Then we'll home. And we'll continue working on base. Perhaps we'll just start building uh, the tower base. There we go. We get ourselves a coyote back. We got ourselves refined oil. So if I get duct tape, I could make adhesive. Even though we already have adhesive in our base. I think somebody died here. Yeah, pistol and shotgun and some clothes. Let's switch the clothes. Alright, here we go. Let's go in. Uh, we got ourselves saves on key card. Let's go. All right, we're back in. There's still more shots going on. I'm gonna try to go back with a pistol, probably. Maybe we'll do ourselves, like, a little rack to riches. Actually, I'll take the government. It's a much better gun. I think it's, like, too short to kill somebody. We'll keep the pistol here. All right, let's me put a sight on it. Yep, there we go. Let's see what's happening now. All right, so I just looted uh, the town. Nobody here, but that three-man team's base is literally right there. The guy that has a moderator in their team... They literally live right next to me and they're on the roof, roof camping. Don't know how the hell they did not see me actually. So I definitely should move and not live right here. I think that would be a, a good idea. So I'm gonna probably just get over to the tower that I want to build next to and just start chopping down trees. And we'll keep all of this loot in here for now. It's safe. We got ourselves some good loot. So if we die, it's completely fine. But I'm gonna run... Oh, there's an airdrop. I think, or a, a strike or something. I don't know what's going on. I think it's an airdrop. But yeah, I'm gonna try to go to the bunker as well. Maybe there's some stuff in there. And I'm gonna see if there's any unrated bases around too. Because at some point, for today or tomorrow, I do unraid, obviously. <laughs> Alright, time to chop down a billion trees and time to start building a tower base. Yo, we got nitro. So, nitro is actually really important. I'm gonna start collecting as much nitro as possible because they're good for C4. We need just literally two C4, two nitro, adhesive, and you got yourself a C4. It's so OP. But obviously, we'll focus on raiding later. I'm starting to find a lot of bases around. But now, let's just continue chopping as much trees as possible. We're gonna need a lot, to be honest, since it's gonna be a pretty large and high tower. Alright, so the tower is almost done. We still gotta get ourselves a few more. Over here, we'll do a window, so if people are walking by, we can just snipe them out. Especially since server has no bullet drop. That's insane that this server has no bullet drop. Escalation is good, in my opinion, because there is bullet drop, but... Yeah, these snipers, like the CSO, is gonna be so OP. It's gonna be crazy. So if we get one of ourselves, we could just snipe people out. And one shot, headshot, kills anyone. It's mental. Yeah, exactly like that, bro. I'm dead. That's exactly why. That sniper has high range, there's no bullet drop, and you put a suppressor on it, you can literally dominate the server. Alright, so whoever killed me literally didn't even come take my loot. And I think they're gone. So I'm just gonna continue chopping my trees. Alright, so it's time to start moving the loot, made myself a large crate. I am currently homing. Because on this server, you can have two beds. Let's wear ourselves the Elise back and let's take everything. Literally all of the items that I have, we're going to move them. Technically speaking, I don't really have a lot of good stuff. The good stuff is just basically like the adhesive compounds. 
those high-tech fuses and then nothing that insane to be honest but hey we got two bases we'll keep the drum here i literally don't need it at all yeah i didn't even fill up a full inventory i'm gonna salvage this crate so i'm gonna take it with me and whenever i need to just be close to walk and i'll just do home bed one and that's it i've got some night vision some guns we could salvage this we don't need that get ourselves a shutter so but base is done put myself a little wooden base nothing too crazy right now it's very vulnerable though it can be destroyed literally just by one strike. And if those admins or whatever find out where I live, they're probably gonna raid me since I killed one of them and I took their drum. But let's not worry about that for now. Let's just put everything in here and let's start doing some runs. Some loot runs. Probably I'll go from here to Parkwood, to Redgrove and to TKR. I think that would be a good route to go to. But I think very soon we're gonna do a dead zone run. So I think I have almost everything. We already have adhesive. I think I need to get myself some duct tape though. But I'm liking how the tower is till now. If I get some scopes, I put them on the government, it'll be very OP. Get ourselves a full crate till now, and I'll roam around with Ulfbert for a little bit. Bro, what? There's an airdrop grenade here. Oh my god. Bro, that's perfect. Alright, well, we're gonna throw this on our base. We got ourselves an LTLM too, that's pretty nice. Let's put that bad boy in vault. I'm gonna make myself a hole and a hatch, so that when I throw an airdrop, I'll just be safe in my base. Hopefully it doesn't bring anyone. But they shouldn't, because the airdrops pass so quickly as well, and they land so quickly. Alright, so now we throw this over here. And basically, when we open the hatch, it'll be right above it. That's basically the plan. But after this, I think it's gonna be time to do a dead zone run. Maybe we'll start upgrading base a little bit as well. Gotta check if people are showing up, but it seems like, nope. Yeah, man, it's kind of hard for people to come for airdrops. It's like, they land so quickly. So if people do actually come to this airdrop, I could get myself kind of bad because I'll get targeted or something like that. Yeah, I think I can make myself a filter actually already. Let's wait for this to here to land. Yeah, let's take the adhesive. Yep, it landed and it right, landed kind of on the other side, but it's all right. And we got knocked. C4, bro, that's good. And the filter, bro, that's perfect. C4 and a filter already. That's really good. Let's put these guns in there. The grenade launchers, nitroglycerin, we already can make another C4. Yeah, so for a gas mask, all I need is just some fabric and some plastic, and that's it. That's literally all I need. Pretty good, bro. We got ourselves a good start. Yeah, let's just take all of the cloth that I have. We'll make it into fabric. There we go. Got ourselves fabric. Lovely. Put the gas mask filter. And there's somebody throwing something at my base. What? I think that was nitroglycerin. Let's get this charge. Yeah, let's put them in vault. Oh, there's people outside. Bro, there's a lot of steps outside. What? Oh my god, I'm getting raided, bro. Bro, I'm getting raided by an Ares. Bro, my base just completely is gone. Okay, so this is the tree man team. Bro, this is the trio. Bro, I'm gonna take all of the loot and I'm gonna go to the other base. That's where the Elise back. Yeah, they can't kill me from here. Yeah, they're trying to shoot. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, this was the trio. One of them is an admin and they're abusing. Because they have military drums. Yep, I just lost everything. Bro, what is this? I spawned close, man, but there's no way I'm killing them. With an ECS. If I try to kill them, maybe I could kill them. I'll just take the loot and get to the other base, but I doubt that'll happen. Bro, that airdrop brought them here, man. Thankfully, I did vault the C4 and the gas mask filter in my vault. Did lose some stuff, obviously. We lost the adhesive, a lot of stuff to make adhesive. Oh yeah, they're still there. They just wasted so many ammo for a base that doesn't have anything that good. Hit him. Hit him again. Hit this dude. Yeah, they're just all spraying me. Hit him again. Hit him. Bro. I hit him both twice, man. I don't have meds. Hit him again. Yeah, I'm just gonna die. And the one is pushing. Yeah, they're hitting me through threes. I'm dead, yeah. Alright, well, I just lost all of my base. I still have the other base, though, but <laughs> I kind of feel like quitting and never post this. But we still got the good stuff from my base, actually. I just have to regrind. It sucks that I wasted so much time building the tower base. Alright, so I got an axe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait for them to hopefully leave. They literally live right next to where I am right now. I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna give up. I didn't have anything that crazy. I did have a bunch of guns, but I honestly think that the crates up there didn't even get to them because they just destroyed all of the foundations. So I prob they probably won't even go up there. Get ourselves a Centauri. I'm still gonna still have the one by one that I built already. So we'll just live in there for now. 
But there goes my plans for surviving in a tower for 24 hours. But hey, this happens. There's nothing we can do. But it doesn't mean I'm gonna give up and leave the server. So I wanna do everything that I wanted to do. Raid, dead zones. Just that we have a slight detour. Oh, we're back to my... They're not here. They left a lot of loot. Yeah, Jackhammer, clothes, night vision. They left the ATLM. They didn't take anything. I think... Yeah, this was my body. So what they took was... Yeah, at least back adhesive and some of the guns. There's another body here. Oh, there's a bunch of guns here, actually. Never mind. Yeah, they left compact by Z. I mean, if they're admin abusers, they don't need my loot. They take, they took the adhesive, though. Yeah, they broke the crates, actually. There's more stuff. Oh, bro, this what? This is not even my loot. They think they... I think they killed someone else. I didn't have an Essen and all of these compacts. And chemicals, bro. Yeah, I, that this is somebody else's loot. They left it all here. All right, well, technically, I didn't really lose that much loot. I did lose the base. Obviously, I did lose that, but in terms of loot, what I le lost was stuff that I got from killing them. So I, I think it's fine. I actually got a lot of loot from this. This isn't even mine. All right, well, we'll home. Um, we'll come back. We'll take the rest. I won that asset 100%. And we'll continue where we left off on that base. We'll probably upgrade a little bit, make it at least into reinforce. Yeah, we could salvage some of the base parts too, like some of the walls, the floor. So it should be okay. But yeah, I got a full inventory of loot. Right, we're back for our second run, got everything. A lot of guns from this, actually. We didn't have this much guns, so I'm kind of happy that we got raided, because we kind of profited, kind of. I don't know, man. I'm still kind of bummed out that we lost the adhesive, though, but it's whatever. I can make a bunch in base already. Yeah, most of these items are damaged, so... And I don't have a blowtorch yet. Alright, so we're gonna go to the safe zone to uh, claim as much quests as possible. And we're gonna do a dead zone run zone. So I did get quite a few. Probably won't really focus on doing them, but just in case, for example, we go to Parkwood and I could finish a quest, then I'll just finish it. There's some people in the safe zone speaking Russian. I have no idea what they're saying. But, yeah, I'm gonna try to get myself a good spawn to go to the dead zone. Yeah, let's get this dude's quest as well for some strawberries. Oh, another airdrop grenade, bro. Okay. Well, this time I'll make sure I won't throw it right next to my... My base, bro, so I won't get raided by an admin team. Alright, first dead zone run. Let's hope we get the Valkyrie. Let's lure all the zombies. And start killing them. Let's hope we get our there airdrop, more airdrop grenades or just a bunch of raiding stuff. But so now nothing has dropped. For this server, the server gives you money. And you can't buy anything though, so it's just... It's just there for nothing. And the Valkyrie is already claimed. HMG isn't though, so let's get the HMG. Maybe we'll make ourselves an HMT. Today, I have not made an HMT in survival at all yet. Go, we got old MG magazine. Compact. There's another, there's a few more zo um, almost died. Kill him. High tech. Alright, we're back in base run. Pretty good run. Nice dead zone run. I'm starting to upgrade it as well. Make ourselves our 2x1 and so at least reinforced. So that would be a, a good idea. There we go. Let's place that. Put all of these items in there. So we did not get anything that insane to be honest. We did get the HMG was pretty nice and we did get one high tech fuse. That's something else that we lost from that raid. They did take the high tech fuses. But we got ourselves a detonator too. So we can technically raid which is always nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a corner of the map and I'm going to pop the airdrop uh, grenade over there. There's a dude uh, chopping down trees there. I'm gonna try to kill him, obviously. Alright, there we go. He's dead. Let's check out what loot he had. He seems geared. Oh, yeah, he is. Bro, that's crazy. Alright, let's take everything. Nitroglycerin, night vision. Let's home. I'm just gonna pick up as much items as possible. I don't care what I pick up. He has a lot of logs. I hope I didn't miss anything. Alright, so I missed an acid, some chemicals, but I did get... Chainsaw, a lot of wood. I got chemicals anyway. Let's make ourselves another box. We got ourselves a lot of wood. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try to pick up all of the loot that I left. If we get all of the loot that I left, that would be great. But first, we gotta put everything in here. We got ourselves a bicy, canteen, chemicals, marksman ammo, chainsaw, armor plates, some clothes. Nitroglycerin is nice. Not too bad. That's an easy kill, so. Alright, let's show this airdrop here. I'm kinda scared people are gonna try to counter me, so. Let's hope we get something good from this. Last airdrop was good. The filter and the charge in one was insane. Let's hope we get the same thing today in this one. 
Come on, man. I kind of picked a spot where um, hopefully they it would be far from them. Technically, it is still a bit close. But I still gotta be careful, man. They do have a heli too, so they can just get here in a second if they really want to. Alright, popped and uh, guns. That's it, just guns, baffle kit and high cat and some grenades. There's somebody in this house. I hear him running around. I think he's just getting all of the posters. I'm just gonna rush up. Yeah, he's somewhere up here. Yeah, he's here. Bro, he jumped. Hit him three times. Where is he, bro? Oh, he's doing the regen stim or whatever it is. Oh, he's here. Oh, I got him. Oh, he's geared. Bro, he has so many carpets and decorations, man. Alright, I'll just take as much items as possible. I gotta pick every... Bro, I got so much carpets and that kind of stuff. Firefighter helmet. I'll just take... Bro, he has so many clothes. Wait, what is it? Bro! Okay, so apparently I have a bounty on me. This server has like a circle thingy. And the whole server knows where you are marked on the map. So now the whole server knows where I am. So I'm just gonna home, drop, drop everything, go outside and suicide. So we'll go on somebody else because I don't want this. I don't care. We got an Elise back too, bro. This dude had an Elise back. Alright, so let's just drop everything here. And go out and suicide. Alright, so I'll just die here. Bounce will go on someone else and I'll go back for the gun. I could have just dropped it in base too, but I kind of forgot. So I'm gonna go do a dead zone run, but next to the dead zone, there's this fake raided base. This 2x1 here, it's basically the only reinforced part, and it is unraided. There's no way people got in. So, we're gonna raid that later on. It's a fake raided base, but we're back for a dead zone run. Alright, let's hope the Valkyrie is here now. I really, really want that. Yes, it is. Perfect. Alright. We got ourselves some subot slugs too. Yeah, HMG isn't here though. That's alright. We already got one. It's whatever. Alright. Well, we got what we needed. Perfect. And so I finally made ourselves the first locker. It's been so long since I actually been playing here. And I just didn't bother doing lockers. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get myself as much nitroglycerin as possible. So that we can start making more C4. We got tape. Lovely. But I really need nitroglycerin, man, so I'm probably just gonna spend the next few minutes just looking around here, going to, to go to Fort Martin as well. Perhaps we'll do another dead zone run soon, but I gotta wait for this stuff to respawn over there, obviously. Wait, this base is live. Oh yeah, it is live. Okay. I'm just- I'm not- I'm going to a dead zone run, I don't wanna raid him or whatever. Oh wait, what? He's trying to kill me, man. Alright, bro. Sure, I'm gonna keep running away. If he pushes me, that would be perfect, to be honest. Wait, what? Wait, he is pushing me. Okay. I'm gonna get myself an easy kill then. He thinks I ran away. He's gonna try to chase me down. He's running on the other side. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try to backstab him. He's right there. There we go, he's dead. Alright, easy peasy. And, okay, yeah, he has a lease back. Alright, yeah, he's got a pretty nice armor. Alright, let's get out of here. That was an easy kill. I'm gonna go raid that base that I found earlier, actually. I could try to raid this dude, but... And I wanna raid the one next to the dead zone, because I think it may be stacked since it's built next to dead zone. Because they may have killed people going in dead zone, so they probably got like a bunch of gas masks, filters, and dead zone loot. Alright, C4 there. That's the only part that's not reinforced. Yep, we're through, and yep, RDC load. So I chopped down myself some trees, so we can just take this base over. It'll be our secondary base. It's literally not next to that zone, so I'll just place myself like a cardboard bed. And looks like there's a bunch of guns. Yeah, they have a lot of guns, damn. Um, we're gonna salvage everything. Jackhammer, bunch of stuff. This one's empty. I don't think there's anything that insane, actually. Yeah, chemicals, car battery, glue. A lot of glue and chemicals, that's good. There's another car battery here. More glue and chemicals, another battery. Yeah, we got ourselves uh, like six chemicals, dude. That's great. Yeah, we're gonna salvage everything. We're gonna get ourselves a lot of metal. So that's always nice to have. Even the guns, we're gonna salvage all of them and salvage the gun parts. And get ourselves a lot of strings from it. So it won't be that bad, I guess. Yeah, salvage this, take all of the metal. They probably logged off with the good loot. Yeah, there's two more chemicals here. Yeah, there's some black books. We'll take one, obviously. All of these guns are gonna get salvaged, man. Salvage the pry bar, salvage this. We'll keep the ECS. 
a shotgun, pistols, stack all of the ingots, stack the logs. All right, for our first trade, you know what? Not that bad. It could have been worse. But we did get a lot of metal, dude. And there's still a lot of stuff to salvage. We got a base right next to the uh, dead zone. So the cardboard bed, we could just home here whenever we want. And it's safer, you know? It's better to have our loot spread around rather than have it all in one base. Because if we get raided like we already did, we're gonna lose a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna make them into lockers already. Already made three lockers, four, five. Yeah, this raid, we got a lot of metal. So I will not complain. Yeah, there's a cardboard bed literally right here for us. So it plays this here. This is gonna be our second base. We got already we already got ourselves a lot of storage. Some of it is reinforced. Obviously, I won't put any good loot in here though. Let's salvage all these pistols. Oh, I salvaged these. He has by mistake. Oops, it's fine. I have more in base. Alright, so it's time to do ourselves another base raid. I'm gonna get myself some wood so when we raid, we'll go through. Find myself a small raid, but I think it'll be worth it. Yes, this one is just explode. Uh, we're through. Looks like there's one crate. Alright, I don't think it's gonna be that good then. And, okay, well, actually... Oh, we got the Hermes finally! Oh my god. Thank god. Let's destroy this bed. It takes so much to break them, man. Yeah, there's a lot of gun crates, but they're empty. Nothing good. I think next, I'm gonna go fishing. Got off marksman ammo, got some subot slugs, um, nitroglycerin, Hermes canteens, gauze cans. We'll take all of the guns, obviously. We got a cryogen, thank god, I love that gun. But I think next, I'm gonna go fishing. We've almost been here for 24 hours. The base did survive overnight, so that's lovely to see. I'll probably still roam around a little bit, try to find myself maybe more raids. We did upgrade base quite a ton, till. I hear the heli, bro. These guys are on. Yeah, I was kind of surprised how my base survived living when we're right underneath them. It was completely fine. I got ourselves some LTLMs. Yeah, this one is completely full. This one... Dude, we got ourselves some loot. It is normal loot after all, so I'm really happy with the progression that we got. If we never got raided in the first place, I probably would have myself such an OP tower. But I've noticed that the small bases aren't raided and the large bases are raided. So if we expand it too much, we'll probably just target ourselves. So having ourselves a small base can sometimes actually be better and we won't get targeted by the large teams that want to raid every single large base. There's a dude in here. Bro, what? Bro, I was so laggy. Kill the zombies. Alright. Well, so I went to base and got myself circuit board and duct tape so that I can finish the quest to unlock the shop. And I'm going to buy myself a gun that I've been waiting to get since the very, very start, which is the CSO. I should have enough money to do that. I really hope I do. But we'll unlock the electronics room too. So, so that's really good. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves the CSO. Absolutely lovely. Right, let's do a final dead zone run. Maybe we'll get ourselves lucky and get airdrop grenades. Our server kind of died out, unfortunately. A lot of people left. Either it's because it's very early right now. And the last time I was recording was in the middle of the day. But it's alright. I mean, it's whatever, honestly. Survived here for 24 hours completely alone. We did get raided once, but there's nothing we can do about that. But our new base is still fine. Don't need a large base, especially since I'm completely solo. Yeah, Valkyrie is here. Let's get the ECS. Some more attachments. Let's get ourselves another HMG. And then we'll home. And I'll log off with all of the good loot. Let's kill this dude. Alright boys, so after that I did leave the server. We did survive for 24 hours and it was actually a lot of fun. I did get raided at the start which was a bit of a bummer but I still did not leave, I still played. So, so yeah, that's it for this video guys, really hope that you enjoyed. If you guys want to see more escalation videos in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it till the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye!